Hey guys, it's the Pitchman with an awesome Pitchman deal of the day. Hey, uh, big news. So my wife the other day just got offhandedly kind of mentioned that she wanted a cast iron uh, Dutch oven. And so I just went around and checked it out and I found this company and I'm so pleased with this. I just got to let you know type of guy I am. So check this out. Hey guys, it's the Deej, the pitch man, with an actual unboxing. Hey, it's important to do these unboxings because especially something like this, it's heavy as the dickens, and I'm telling you, there's nothing worse than breaking something when you open it. And so watch this because, I, you know what it's like? You're never too old to be unbelievably disappointed when your ice cream scoop falls on the ground. You know, same thing with something like this. So let's switch to the other screen. Boom. Here we go. All right. Um, so I undid this. I'm actually uh, excited because I'm not quite sure what color this is. I don't quite remember. I'm hoping it's the red. So we'll hope together. So when you, when you pull this thing out, it is heavy as the dickens. Slide it out on the ground like this. Oh, looks like it's black. I won't be that disappointed. No, it's red! Oh, oh, look at that! Just when you think your day can't get any better. Boom. I guess I could have ordered it that way, but a lot of times I don't know what I'm ordering. So, yeah, slide this thing out. It's heavy as the Dickens. It's cast orange. And I like using the word Dickens. You know, uh, the word the Dickens isn't used enough in the uh, English vernacular. Hey, you can't, uh, let's do it like that. Give you a better, you know what? I'm going to move this thing up here so you can see. Look at that. You know, the things I do for you, the car buying public. Okay, initial impressions. I love uh, the kind of two-tone action that's going on here. It's nice and heavy. Ooh, makes you feel alive. Look at that. I want to make it so it's... Really like the color. The way it's just obviously a quality piece of merchandise right here. Enameled cast iron Dutch oven. There's the name right behind it. I can't, you know what? I gotta make myself smaller. Look, <laughs> little tiny guy now. Yeah, totally cool. All right, so here's my plan. What I plan to do is, what I plan to do is uh, go ahead and clean it, wash it, uh, make something, and at the end of this, maybe we'll have an actual meal and we'll see if it works. We'll eat together. We'll break bread together. Uh, you know, after all we've been through, I think it's I think it's time that we break bread together. So stick around. See you in a second. Hey guys, I'm uh, making use of this awesome Dutch oven. By the way, I didn't mention before the handles on this thing. It's so comfortable. Listen, I like to season my. Uh, uh, the pans and pots before I use them. And so what better way to season is to throw a bunch of oil in there and make some fried chicken. So I got them here waiting to go in and I'm waiting for this to come up to 350 and then I will see the final result. But so far, so good, baby. This thing, it's just like, it's, it looks so good. It's just so fun to use. All right, I'll catch you in a couple of seconds. Little action footage. A little less exciting, but it looks good with the top on. All right, it's been nine minutes. I think they should be done. I don't know. I'm really happy with the uh, the top on here. I've not done it before, but it's the purple. Let's shut this off. It's the perfect depth uh, that it doesn't splatter. Look at this. Put that thing out here. Listen to that sound. I mean, that's the sound of heaven on wheels. Are you kidding me? So this is four kind of large pieces. My wife got a uh, boneless, which is insanity, but that's what she got. And uh, 
these four big pieces, look how much these big pieces, they all fit. And I didn't use a ton of uh, oil. You can see it's not like very deep there. But look, these big pieces and they were all submerged nicely. This is like a perfect thing to do. All right, we'll go up. We'll have the taste test in a second. I am not going to eat it right now and uh, you know boil my mouth just uh, for the sake of this video. So I'll see you in a couple minutes. It's done. Wait, I can start over. All right, well, I'm not quite sure if it's done, but let's just cut into it. Might be done. Actually. As Emerald would say, I wish you guys had taste division because this is so good. This uh, cast iron skillet lives up to the hype. Nice and strong and steady, perfect depth, looks great, tastes great, and you ought to get it. It is 100% pitchman approved.